Now, uh, we, we already dealt with this type of a circuit and we found out that uh, by writing the current equation, we can solve this circuit. We also did the two input or three input summing amplifier circuit. We could have another arrangement that is called the difference amplifier. So in this case, we also have two inputs, but this input is as usual that we learned. But the other input is now connected through a voltage divider circuit. So it is dividing between R3 and R4. So this type of configuration is called difference amplifier. And it is called difference amplifier because the output will be uh, difference of the two inputs multiplied by some gain. So this is a difference amplifier. We will now uh, derive the formula for difference amplifier. You can see that there are uh, four currents. I1 entering, I2 leaving in the upper branch and in the lower branch I3 entering and I4 leaving. So for branch upper branch or for VA or at node A we can write I1 is equal to I2 and as we have learned I will follow the same technique. So I1 is going from 0 to VA so 0 minus VA and this current is in the same direction so plus V1. So 0 minus VA plus V1 divided by resistance R1 and current leaving is from VA to V0 so VA minus V0 divided by R2 which is our feedback resistance in this case and by solving these two this we get the output equation to be V0 is equal to R2 over R1 plus 1 into VA minus R2 over R1 V1. Now if we solve at node B, at node B also we have the current entering I3 and current leaving I4, so I3 equals I4, again I3 is 0 minus VB plus V2, so 0 minus VB plus V2 and this is VB minus 0 divided by R4 these two equations by solving we get VB is equal to R4 divided by R3 plus R4 V2. Now since VA and VB are equal therefore in this case VA we can replace by this value VB and so our new equation will become this is the output equation in terms of the two inputs now V1 and V2. And this can be further written as, as shown here. Now some interesting things if you note, if we can, if we make R1 is equal to R3. So R1 and R3 we make same and similarly if we make R2 and R4 same. So in the formula we put this is the formula and this formula if we put uh, R1 and R3 same so R3 is equal to R1 and similarly R4 and R2 same that means R4 is replaced by R2 then this equation will simplify in this form. Now you can see that the it is the difference of the two inputs V2 minus V1 multiplied by some factor this factor is called the gain. So R2 over R1 is the gain. Now this is true when R1 is equal to R3 and R2 is equal to R4. There is another uh, possibility that is shown here that if, if these two resistances are same and similarly if R3 and R4 same actually there is no gain because this, this feedback resistance provides the gain since they are same so the gain is 1 and therefore our equation will simplify to V0 is equal to V2 minus V1. So these are the two possible arrangements uh, depending on the value of R1 
in this case is equal to R2, but in this case is it is equal to R3. Now let's solve a problem. We have to design an op-amp circuit with the inputs V1 and V2 such that the output is given by this formula. Now let's see what was the formula of the difference amplifier. So this was the formula. In this formula you see V2 is written uh, first and then is V1, but in our case it is V1 written first and V2 second. So we'll just manipulate this and we write it in this form. So this comes here and this goes here. Now it is easier for us to compare. If you compare this portion, leaving V2, that means 3 is equal to all this. Similarly, if you compare the right hand side, that means 5 is equal to R2 over R1. So this is, this is simpler, let's first start with this. So we can write that R2 over R1 is equal to 5 and from here we can say that R2 is equal to 5 R1. So this is our one condition. Now if you put this condition in the first part and here, now this was equal to 3 so we write this equal to 3 and then we put from here R2 over R1, R2 over R1 equal 5 or we put R2 is equal to 5 R1 and then our equation will simplify further and uh, we will get the condition that R3 is equal to R4. So these are the two conditions that we have got R2 for this solution R2 has to be equal to 5 times R1 and R3 has to be equal to R4. Now since we are designing the circuit we could assume any one value and find the other value. The only point that we have to keep in mind that in case of an operational amplifier the values of the resistances are in kilos. So we can assume any value. So let's say if we assume R1 as 10 kilo 10 kilo therefore R2 will become 5 times 10 that is 50 kilo and if you assume R3 to be 20 kilo so since R3 is equal to R4 so R4 is also 20 kilo so this is the design parameter for this uh, problem. Okay this is another example we have to design a different amplifier with gain 4 now remember we had learned two conditions. Now this was condition when R1 is equal to R3. In this case we get a gain uh, given by R2 over R1. But in the other case when R1 is equal to R2 there was no gain. It is just the difference between the two. So we'll use this formula and we equate R2 over R1 equal to 4. This is the gain. And from here we can write R2 to be equal to 4 R1 and by assuming R1 to be 10 kilo we can say that R2 is 40 kilo. Also since R1 is equal to R3 and R2 is equal to R4 therefore R3 is 10 kilo and R4 is 40 kilo. Uh, 